into tonight at this point of the year and the Knights are featured in our week five nine overtime game of the week. Hanks looking to improve to four and zero on the season standing in the Knights way. The Andrus Eagles Andrus came out swinging. They're playing no games here. It's Marcus Wilson scoring in their opening drive. Eagles take a seven to nothing lead. But Hanks will have the answer not letting them get by so easy. Jordan Morales to Alex Robles. Hanks will tie that right up at seven apiece. Andrus once again though with the touchdown Jamari Milton to Avante Clayton. Andrus will take back the lead 14 to seven. Ed, what differences have you seen in Andrus, a team that entered this game one and three, clearly making a name for themselves tonight? Yeah, Coach Taylor has this team dialed in. This offense is high-powered. Uh, Milton, Avant, the freshman, has played spectacular. They've gotten exponentially better in the last couple of weeks. Speaking about another talented player there, uh, Jared Gordon getting the score for Eagles. For the Eagles, they extended its lead to 28-14. But later on, Hank's starting to rally back. It's Jordan Morales to Alex Robles. Um, that score right there would tie the game at 28. Later in the third, it's uh, Andres up seven until Hanks comes right back. It's Morales to Robles once again. Game tied at 35, and then uh, Ed, Jam Jamari Milton, a kid to watch out for, right? He has exploded onto this scene, emerging as one of the top five quarterbacks here in the Sun City, making plays like that. So it's Milton to McKeel Taylor there. And uh, this game went into overtime. Andres up 49-42, last play of the game. Hanks needs a score here if they're going to tie this game up. But Hanks just unable to get the touchdown there. And that was the play that ended the game. Andres, as you can see, going berserk on the sidelines as they take the 49 to 42 win over Hanks in overtime. Let's send things out to Jesus Baltazar, who is live at Andres High School and is live with the winning head coach and player for our coaches spot. Guys, well, we hit it right on the mark with this game. It was a barn burner all the way to overtime, but Andres came up with the win, 49-42, and have put themselves with a winning record in district play, 2-1 and one now. I'm joined now by Andres head football coach Chris Taylor. Coach, I want to... There was a lot that happened in this game, but I want to go back to the fourth quarter. It was a difficult quarter. You know, Hanks uh, kept the ball away from you guys, ultimately took the lead with uh, just under two minutes remaining, but your team still came back, tied the game, and then in overtime, you guys had the winning touchdown. What was that like, keeping your, your team with their head in the game in such a difficult moment? Well, we just wanted to uh, have them continue to do what they've been coached to do all, all year and all week, and, uh, and just continue to believe in each other, right? Believe in the coaches, believe in the scheme, uh, believe in each other, and just go out and execute, and uh, guys stepped up and made plays. Coach, it was a difficult start to the season, but now you're 2-1 in district play. What does that mean for your team? Uh, it's huge, right? 2-1 in district play uh, on the winning side of things. If it uh, ever comes down to a tiebreaker with Hanks or something like that, we have the head-to-head -head, uh, versus them. So it really gives us a, a, a leg up as far as making the playoffs. Coach Taylor, congrats. Thank you. Of course. I'm joined now by one of the stars of the game, Avante Clayton. You had a wild game. You had three receiving touchdowns and a rushing touchdown, one of which was a game winner. Take us to that w a game winning rushing touchdown in overtime. What was that like for you? Uh, I just did everything that I was taught during the week. Good job, man. Good job. I, I did everything I was taught during the week to the stacking inside, to going and get the ball, attacking the ball, staying focused. I was selfish towards the end of the play. I did do something dumb, but I, I take accountability for that. But it's on to the next. You guys had a lot of playmakers today, not just you, the quarterback, uh, wide receiver number two. Tell me about, you know, all the team coming together, making plays all throughout the game. And what was, a, what was a really challenging game back and forth between both teams? Yes, sir. So Jamari, I had confidence on he was going to put the ball where it was going to need to be. And Jared, he pushed me all season. He's, he's a senior and I'm a freshman, so he's like a big brother to me. And he was pushing me, telling me what to do and what not to do. And during that big moment, I was very confident. Congrats on your win. Yes, sir. Thank of you. Course. Well, that'll do it for our nine overtime game of the week. Again, Andres taking the win in overtime, 49-42 over Hanks. And they have now put themselves with a winning record in district play, 2-1. Two and one. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.
All right, Jesus, thank you. You know, Ed, we mentioned it earlier in the show. There's no better feeling, I'm sure, than being that team that stops the team from continuing on to be undefeated. Uh, Andres Eagles doing it for Hanks Knights. What biggest differences have you seen for this team for them to be able well, to well, there's so that? There's so much to unpack here uh, with the Andres Eagles. Coach Taylor has implemented a new offense. So I talked to the coaches at week two, and, and they were on, on pace with what they wanted to do, and they were getting ready for district play. They have said it already. They have gotten exponentially better in the last two weeks. So watch out for the Andrew Seagulls, another Incoming. contender yeah. for that title. Jeez, nine teams in the district, right? Yes. Yeah. So it's going to be a wild race. But again, 